much, but uh, yeah, I, I did my best. Thank you very much. A uh, question at the microphone. Yeah, this is pretty much more for you. With um, Anderson Silva, I feel is the pound for pound best fighter in the world. If he gets through his next, say, two fights, one Belfort, one the winner of Okami and Mark Park, I mean, have you guys had talks? Is that going to be it? If GPTSP won't fight him, is he going to walk away? I mean, what's what's his future looking like? And also, uh, a follow up is like, how did you feel when you heard about Chael Sonnen's uh, failed test? Like, what was your initial reaction? Well, as far as with Anderson, uh, you know, we just keep one, you know, the next fight is the most important fight of his life always. So right now we're just focused on, uh, you know, Vitor Belfort in February. Um, and as far as what's going to happen after that, only God and uh, the UFC knows that. Um, and as far as uh, what I uh, thought about when Shale tested positive, I, sincerely, I, I was actually, I, I was kind of sad for him because, you know, all the stuff that Shale said and all that, at the end of the day, he's not a bad person, he's a good person, and he did a great job, uh, you know, promoting the fight. And, uh, and it's sad to, to think that his best performance of his life is now tarnished. And as a fighter and as a competitor, I, 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 if I was him, I would be pretty upset that his best performance of all time is now tarnished because of it. So it's a sad situation for everybody. It's sad for the UFC, for Chael, and for us because I would have loved to see the rematch. I think the rematch would have been a big seller, and everybody really loses with that. So it's an unfortunate situation.